Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So today we are going to be using the Your Nail Lab sub box for the month of August. First we are going to be doing an unboxing to see what I got. The first thing I got are these really pretty glitters and charms and I also got some nail stickers as well. So I'm just opening the container for you all to see and this first one is decals I believe. I really like it. It's made up of some leaves and some flowers and it's really pretty. Next are these metal charms in the shape of leaves and they are silver and gold charms. This glitter is my favorite and it's a really pretty pink glitter. Next are some neon circle glitters, then some colorful rhinestones. Next is this nail surface cleanser and this is a 2-in-1 because it also acts as a slip solution. Then I also got some gel base coat. Next, I got a spider gel. I also got two gel polishes. The off-white gel polish is called Nude Pink and I just don't understand why this is called Nude Pink. I am going to swatch them for you all to see. The first layer I did achieve full opacity but I did two layers on each nail, on each swatch stick I mean. Then this light pink is called, um, I'm not even gonna pronounce that name before I botch it but this color is really pretty and it does have a bluish undertone to it. I am also going to try the spider gel for you all to see how it works. And I'm not a pro at spider gel, I've only used it once or twice before but it's not hard, I just have to get the hang of it. It's a really pretty color as well and I also cured it for 30 seconds. Now on to the poly gels. I got a glow yellow and a top notch. So I'm just swatching it for y'all to see and the top notch poly gel is a disco poly gel and it does have a pinkish undertone to it. Also the glow yellow poly gel does glow in the dark and it's so pretty. So Macart has done some minor changes on how sub boxes are chosen. They are offering 6 variations of the sub boxes. These variations are divided into two subsections which are the polygel boxes and the dip powders slash acrylic boxes. So you basically have to do a Yoni Lab quiz in order for them to know your preference so that they would know which variation you would like to receive. So you will do that quiz on the Your Nail Lab website. So head on over to that website and do the quiz and then you'll receive um, a variation of the box that you would prefer. 
I actually got the third variation of the polygel boxes. I did do my nail prep off camera and I did apply my nail tips off camera as well. Then I went ahead and filed the surface of my nails with my sanding band to remove the shine. Then I'm using the base coat that came in the box and applying it to my nails. Then I cure for 30 seconds. I will be using this beautiful pink glitter. So I apply some more of the base coat to the pinky nail. Then using my dotting tool to pick up the glitters, I apply it to the pinky nail and then I cure for 30 seconds. I think it looks so pretty. On to the index nail, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I am using the sip solution provided, so I'm just pouring some into a dampen dish. Next, I applied a bead of the glow yellow to the nail bed of the pinky nail. And then I'm just forming it around the cuticle area so that it is applied neatly. And I am going to fade the poly gel to create an ombre nail. This poly gel is so pretty and it's very easy to work with. So I did forget to apply the base coat to seal in the glitters to the pinky nail. So when I remembered, I decided to apply it, apply the base coat to the index nail. And I even did it on the pinky nail as well, although it was a little too late, but I still did it. And then I cured for 30 seconds. Next, I applied a bead of the yellow poly gel to the index nail and did another ombre nail.
then I cured for 30 seconds. I wasn't sure what I was going to do on the thumbnail but I decided to do another ombre nail. So I applied base coat and then placed some of the glitters. Then I cured for 30 seconds. Next I applied a layer of base coat again and cured. Then I'm using the yellow poly gel at the nail bed area of the thumbnail and fading it into the glitter to create the ombre nail. Then I cured again. Moving on to the middle nail, I am doing a marble nail with the two poly gels but I don't want to swirl the colors together too much. My intention isn't to marble this too much but just enough because I don't want it mixing together. It wouldn't look good if it's mixed together too much. So I just want to do a subtle marble. So when I was satisfied with how the marble was looking, I started to use my poly gel brush to pat the poly gel in place and then I cured for 30 seconds. Next, I applied a little more of the top notch poly gel to create a pattern and then cured again for 30 seconds. I think it looks really good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below because I really didn't know what I was doing. I was kind of winging it a little. So let me know what you guys think about this nail and also the ring nail which I haven't done as yet because that nail is kind of questionable. I don't know what I was thinking but I don't know. It's creative I guess. I was thinking outside the box. <laughs> okay so this nail was a bit of an experiment as I said. So this viral TikTok trend that's going around with the vertical two color ombre, I want to try it but I'm not that good with blending gel polishes so I don't know about that yet. But I did gain a little inspiration from the trend and wanted to do it with poly gel. It looks better when the poly gel is glowing in the dark but with the lights on it's not that great in my opinion. I still would like to try the TikTok trend with gel polishes but I don't know yet. I'm still thinking. I'm not sure.
I'm just using the nail surface cleaner provided to remove the tacky layer from the nails and then I file to get a straight line. Next, I did another set of the vertical ombre nails. Next, I encapsulated the nails with my McCart Clear Poly Gel. Then I'm using the nail surface cleaner to remove the tacky layer. And then I'm just going to file the nails off camera. This is after filing. Now I am going to top coat the nails and then I cured for 30 seconds. The ring nail isn't as impressive as I thought it would be, but oh well. Now I'm just going to apply my critical oil. So I love the ombre nails because this pink glitter looks so good. The only nail I would do over is the ring nail but it still looks good. 
the set is nice and the nails glow in the dark which is so cool so let me know what you guys think of this new set below thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys